Today we want to look at how to win a fight. In a second or two, as short as that. Now how do we win a fight? There are so, so many ways. The question will come to your mind. How to win a fight? How does it, how does it work? Ah, there are actions that you can take that just in a split second the fight is over. So we are going to pick on different techniques, different actions that will determine will determine the end point of the action. Now I happen to stumble on this person and he's coming with uh, whatever he has in mind to do. I just killed a fight in a very short while. Now you just try to make a move as if you want to approach me. Just this. You step in immediately. As you step in, this is where your strike goes to. Your strike one and two at the same time. This one goes to the, the, the back, the, the spinal cord that leads along close to the waistline, but not exactly on the waistline, right on the back here. And you push, bam! Okay, that is the action. How does it come? How do you take it successfully? You have to be smart. You have to, you have to work with speed and his motion. The moment he steps, this is it, bam! That is what happens. The moment he steps, you step. And as you step in, your hand is there. Lock here, right under the chin. Now this alone, jacking him here, affects the neck, the back of the neck, the bone there. Now you equally go extend to the back of the waist, I mean, yes, the waistline, the spinal cord, along the spinal cord here, and thrust. Bam. With that, if you have to do anything there to him on the ground, it's just uh, additional. But with this, you are good to go. You can find your way out and leave that place. Okay? Now that is one. Now let's check or let's look at another form. Now he pushes. Bam! You step back. Okay, fine. Now you approach. He hasn't seen you do anything. Now he's coming again to take the push. Bam. You see this? Here, one here, boom here. You go one and one to the to the to the groin and strike here down. Bam. This is a lock. This lock when you take good. That is it. Now we take it slowly again. He takes the push. Bam. Step back. You notice you've not done anything and it's coming for another push. You go in. Now this going in, you clamp here. Clamping here, you take to the groin. One. Sink <laughs> down with this lock. Now, that is two. Now let's take, check and look at another way. Now this other way goes like this. He first of all stretches his hand to probably grab the neck. Now stretch the hand to grab. Okay, fine. And you know this is, you, you, you are not comfortable with this. Why should he grab your neck? Okay, how do you escape this? You do take this. We take it slowly. We grab the neck. Send your body to the side. One hand here. This goes almost in between the shoulder and the elbow. You lock it. Let's just take it one more time. He grabs the neck again. At least 
for you to to to, to satisfy your curiosity to know that it is not as hard as you think just one step to the side here there lock here that's just to show finish because when you stuck here here is going you are clamping here down with this now he can feel he feels something you feel something on the shoulder yes because you are pulling the shoulder up now by the time you do this bang, it's down okay all right now let's that's number three or four now let's take another one now this time he comes and places because I've seen places where somebody will just come hey you know I like the kind of trying to intimidate you looking looking at you as you're nothing all right now he does that bam, bam, bam. fine you are lying now he comes the second time <laughs> as smart and as fast as that now let's take it slowly he taps one bam once he taps the first one bam as it's coming the second one you're already here now once you are here what you do twist your body and twist the hand okay now I hope that was slow enough all right now i think we're going to stop there for today yeah. you will come your way once again with more exciting actions you have a lot of things to learn about how to stop or to kill a fight in a very short time so oh, it all depends on you everything is in your hands and your what knowledge you have and what skills you have so i want to remind us first timers or our already subscribers do not forget to uh, watch our our videos for the first timers specifically please subscribe hit the bell and let's get your comments 